Hey Otters, we are going to finish up our lessons on multiplying and dividing decimals um, with this lesson here on dividing decimals by two-digit divisors. So let's get started. So here's our first problem. We have 316 and 26 hundredths divided by 63. Now our these problems become a little bit more difficult just because we have larger divisors here, so it's not as easy to figure out how many times they go into a different number. So let's start here by writing our dividend here, division sign, and our divisor is 63. Now, unlike in the past where we only had a one-digit divisor here, um, that was a little bit easier to figure out how many times this number went into these numbers here. Um, so to make this easier for myself, instead of thinking about 63, I'm going to take, and over here on the side, I'm going to estimate 63 is pretty close to 60, and I'm able to count up by 60s a little bit easier. So I'm just going to count up by 60s here. 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, 420, 480, and I will stop there. All right, so first step is we look at how many times does 63 go into 3? It doesn't. It also doesn't go into 31. So we have to look at how many times does 63 go into 316. So I have to estimate, um, and I'm going to use these numbers I just uh, came up with over here to estimate. So I would estimate that it goes in about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. About 5 times until we get close to 316 without going over. So I'll write my 5 right here. And now I need to multiply. So I'm going to do that over to the side. 63 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 315. So I got very close here. So 316 minus 315 equals 1. Now I bring down the 2, and I see that 63 does not go into 12, so it goes in 0 times, and 0 times 63 is 0. Remember, that's an important step. You still have to do that. And 12 minus 0 is 12. I bring down the 6 now. And now I need to know how many times does 63 go into 126. And I can see that 60 and 60 is 120. 63 and 63 would be 126. So it goes in 2 times. I'm just going to double check my work here. 63 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12, so I was correct. I got 126, and when I subtract, I get 0. So remember, we also have to do the decimal. I see my decimal here, so I move it straight up, and I get a final answer of 5 and 2 hundredths. All right, Otters, let's try another one. Here I have... 3,000, oops, 3,063 and 4 tenths divided by, oh, that's a little bit high up there, 3,063 and 4 tenths divided by 53. All right, again, 53 is not the easiest number to count up by, so I'm just going to estimate um, 53 is really close to 50, which is easy to count up by. So I'm just going to write that over here. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400. All right, so now I need to see 53 does not go into 3. It also does not go into 30, so my next... Thing that I have to look at is how many times do I think it goes into 306? So if I look over here while I'm estimate, at my estimate, it looks like it goes in one, 
two, three, four, five, about six times. Now you'll notice though that we're gonna have a problem with that. Let's say I guessed that it went in six times. If I multiply over here, then 53 times six, I get 318. And you'll notice that is larger than this 306. So we actually went over. And the reason we went over is because this number here, we're just counting up by 50s, but our actual divisor is 53, which is higher than that. So it won't actually go in a full six times. So I'm going to say then that it'll go in five times instead. So let's see what that is. 53 times five. 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26. So that looks a little bit better. So five, 53 times 5 is 265. When I subtract, I get 41. So that worked out a lot better. Now I bring down the 3, and now I need to see how many times does 53 go into 413. I'm going to estimate 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try about eight times. But I'm not sure because again, this, oops, this number here is higher than 50. So I'm just gonna double check over on this side. 53 times eight. And I did get too high of a number again. So I'm gonna get rid of this eight. And I'm going to say it goes in seven times instead. So I'm going to get rid of all this extra work over here and find out 53 times seven, I get 371. So that will actually fit here. So I'll just put 371 here. When I subtract, I get 42. Now I'm going to bring down my four and I have 424, so I need to know how many times 53 goes into 424. And if you remember from the last multiplication problem we just did of 53 times 8, I believe we got 424. So let's try that again. 53 times 8. We did. So it does go in exactly 8 times. 53 times 8 is 424 with a remainder of zero. Here is my decimal that I need to bring up. So I get here a final answer of 57 and 8 tenths. All right, Otters, let's try one more before I have you try some on your own. Our next one is 91 and 182 thousandths. I'm going to divide that by 13. Now, in the past, we've been rounding to the nearest 10, but 13 is also pretty close to 15, which I would consider a pretty easy number to count up by. So I'm going to do that over here. Uh, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, and then 135. All right. My first job is to look at how many times does 13 go into 91. So I'm going to look over here and estimate. Probably goes in about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So I write my 6 here. I'm going to double check over here. 13 times 6 is 78. So let's see how we did there. When we subtract we get 13. Now it looks like we have a problem because we have 13 left over, which means because this number is 13, we could have actually gone in one more time. And remember the number we're counting up by over here is 15, which is higher. So since our number here is lower, it looks like we could have gone in one more time. So I'm gonna get rid of all of this that I just did. And instead of saying it goes in, let's see, only six times, I'm going to guess it goes in seven times instead. Let's try that. 13 times seven 
I get 91. So I was correct. It will go in an extra time. So when I subtract now, 91 minus 91 is 0. Now I bring down the 1. And I know that 13 goes into 1 0 times. 13 times 0 is 0. Don't forget this step here. 1 minus 0 is 1. Now I bring down the 8. And I need to know how many times 13 goes into 18. I know that goes in one time. 13 times 1 is 13. And 18 minus 13 equals 5. Now I bring down the 2. And I want to find out how many times 13 goes into 52. So I'm going to estimate here 1, 2, 3. I'm going to try 4 times and see if that works. So I'm going to write my 4 here. I'm going to check off to the side. 13 times 4. And I got 52, so I was correct. 13 times 4 was 52, so I have nothing remaining. Bring my decimal up, so I get a final answer oops, of 7 and 14 thousand. All right, Otters, there are two problems left. I would like you to make sure you have a, a piece of paper and pencil or whiteboard markers to try these problems. Um, try them on your own, and then when you are done, come back and check my work and see if you got the correct answer. All right, Otters, hopefully that went okay for you. As you will notice, I already wrote the problem in this form over here. And I decided that instead of 19, I was going to be counting up by 20s for my estimate. And so I wrote those numbers off to the side as well. So here I go. First step, 19 does not go into 1. And it does not go into 15. So I need to estimate how many times it goes into 150. So I'm going to estimate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. And I'll multiply off to the side, 19 times 7. Oops. And I get 133. 19 times 7 is 133. When I subtract, I get 17. I bring down the 4. Okay. 19 goes into 174. I'll estimate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to try 9 times. Just because my number here is a little bit smaller than 20. So I'm going to try that first. 19 times 9. I get 171. And I was correct. That's, that's pretty close. So 19 times 9 is 171. When I subtract, I get 3. And I bring down my last number, which is 8. And 19 goes into 38 two times. And I know that 19 times 2 is, in fact, 38. When I subtract, I have nothing left. I'm going to bring up my decimal here for a final answer of 7 and 92 hundredths. All right, hopefully you did okay on that problem. Let's try one more. So here is your final problem to try on your own. It's 469 and 9 tenths divided by 37. Try this one on your own and then come back and check your work with me to see how you did. All right, let's check our work. I've got the problem written over here and I decided to count up by 40s instead of 37. That was an easier estimate for me. So I can see right away that 37 will go into 46. It will go in one time. 37 times 1 is 37. When I subtract, I get 9. And I'm going to bring down the next 9. 37 goes into 99. I'll estimate 1, 2, just 2 times. So now I'm going to do that off to the side, 37 times 2, I get 74. When I subtract, I get 25. 
Now I have to bring down that 9. So now I need to know how many times does 37 go into 259. So I'm going to count up by 40s, remembering that 40 is a little bit higher than my actual number, which is 37. So um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which that will be still a little bit low. So I'm going to guess 7. Let's see how that is. So let's see, 37 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 1, or 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25, and I was correct. So, 37 times 7 is 259, and when I subtract, I have nothing remaining. I'll bring my decimal straight up, so I have a final answer of 12 and 7 tenths. All right, I hope you did okay on that problem as well. All right, next slide shows us your four apply my learning problems for this so you can pause the video right here and either write these problems down or take a screenshot and then why don't you solve these four problems in your math notebook and when you're done take a picture or multiple pictures if you need to to upload into canvas and please let me know if you need any help on these send me a quick message through canvas and i'm happy to meet with you Otherwise, I hope you do okay on this, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye, otters.